Hello and welcome back to Granted Gardens. Today I wanted to shoot a video on a side dish that I'm planning on taking to one of our Thanksgivings uh, tonight. And I actually got this recipe from the Stivers Family Homestead. Um, Jen posted it on YouTube a few weeks back and I watched that video and I was like, oh, that looks so good and looks super easy, very simple. Plus it utilizes um, my cast iron pans. So I was really interested in cooking with cast iron. I'm gonna start getting into that. So I wanted to go ahead and shoot a video while I remake Jen's um, cornbread recipe. So follow along with me, I'll show you how to do it. It looked really easy when, and delicious when she did it. So I'm excited to see how it turns out. The things you will need to make this recipe is going to be one half teaspoon of salt, uh, one cup of sour cream, uh, one stick of butter, one box of Jiffy corn muffin mix. This is an 8.5 ounce. Um, one can of whole kernel corn. This is a 15.25 ounce and one can of cream style corn, 14 ounce, and then 14.75 um, ounce. Three eggs and your pan. Now, if you are doing this recipe with the cast iron pan and you need to season your pan, um, I'm gonna link the video that I made recently on how to season and prep your cast iron up in the corner here so you can view that video if you need help with seasoning. Otherwise, you can use a glass um, pan as well. So whatever you have will be fine. All right, so I went ahead and I drained my whole kernel corn. I melted my one stick of butter and I measured out my half, tea, uh, half teaspoon of salt and my one cup of sour cream. So now all we have to do is go ahead and pour them all of the ingredients in the bowl here. I'm not good at breaking an egg one handed. <laughs> so three eggs. <laughs> my melted butter. whole kernel corn, cream style corn, half a teaspoon of salt, and my sour cream, which I'm also going to do with two hands. And then last but not least, one box of Jiffy Corn Mix. As I'm working on mixing stuff up, I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the oven. Uh, we're gonna turn the oven up to 375, let that heat up. Now, Jen had mentioned that she cooks hers at 375 for anywhere between like 30 to 45 minutes or until golden. Um, everybody's ovens are different. So I'm gonna start off with her suggested 30 minutes and then I'm gonna check it. If it needs a little bit longer, we'll put it in for the 45. Um, but as far as checking it goes, it's gonna be the same as you would when you're baking a cake. Just stick like a toothpick in the center. If it comes out clean, it's done. So I'm gonna set my clock for 30 minutes and we'll come back and check on it. My timer went off at 30 minutes. I checked it, it still didn't look done. So I added an additional 15 minutes. So now we're gonna take a peek at it. So we're at 45 minutes in the oven at 375. So it looks like it's starting to get pretty golden brown. I'm just gonna take one of my skewers. You can use a toothpick. And put it right through the center, pull it out. Looks clean, so it's done. So there it is, beautiful. I'm so excited to take it tonight. It smells so good. So I just wanna do a quick thank you. Thank you so much to the Stivers Homestead. Thank you so much, Jen and Zach, for sharing this recipe. I'm really excited to take this and have my family try it out. Um, I also need to do a special shout out to Grandma, Grandma Hollins, if you're watching. Thank you so much for the cast iron pans. Um, I'm finally using them. I'm gonna become a pretty good cook with these things. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to sharing more with you soon. 